Hi, I'm Sarah with Crafty Creatures, and today we are making the Loch Ness Monster Keychain Craft from your Keep'em Busy box. For this craft, we will need one key ring, string, three yellow beads, and our other pack of other colored beads. We'll need roughly a hundred. And from home, let's find scissors, some tape, a ruler if you have one, and a mess friendly place to craft. Now that we have all of our supplies, let's get started. Take your string and cut a piece that is roughly six to seven feet in length, which is about one ruler length per foot. Fold this string in half and tie it onto the key ring using a hitch knot. That means we'll poke the folded end of the loop of the string around the key ring and thread the tail ends through the loop, pulling as tight as we can. This will hold on the string and it will give us two long strands to work with. I'd recommend taping your key ring to your workspace. It makes it easier and it keeps it from rolling around on you. Now let's get started on the beading. Take two of your colored beads and thread them onto one of the strings. Slide them all the way down and then thread the other string through the beads. Pull them tightly till we make our first row with two beads. Take three color beads and repeat this process. Again, making sure to pull tight and even so that they sit flat against our first row. For our next row, we will need our two yellow beads with one color bead in the middle and thread them on the same way. Our next seven rows will all have two color beads each. Make sure to pull the strings tight after each row. After finishing the seven rows, let's make a new row, but this time with three beads. The following row will have five beads. Next, to make the arms, take one string on either side and thread four of the beads on. Then take a fifth bead and thread it, but turn it slightly sideways and thread it back down the other four beads and pull it tight. You might have to wiggle and move the beads till you can get it to sit tightly against the body. Lay it carefully on the table with the string away from the edge of the table so your beads don't fall off and repeat this little process to the other side of your body with your other string. Then we're going to make a new row of seven beads with both of our strings the same way we've been doing all along. Pull them tight afterwards to secure this row and our front arms. Then make another row of seven. After that, we will have another row of seven, but we will place our last yellow bead in the middle with three color beads on each side. Make sure to pull it tight between each row. Make two more rows of seven. Similar to how we made the arms, we will make a leg on either side of the body with the string on that side. This time, we will angle the string downward when we add the four beads. Add the fifth bead, but on its side, 
and thread the string back down the leg beads. Do the same on the other side to make both legs. Make another body row with five beads and pull it tight to secure both this row and the legs. Make the next row a row of three, followed by two rows with just one bead each. Now to finish off our Nessie. Tie the strings in a sturdy double knot below the final bead. We can cut off any extra string as short as we'd like as long as we don't cut the knot. You can even leave a little bit on if you'd like. Now peel off your tape and enjoy your awesome Loch Ness Monster keychain. Thanks for crafting with me today. I will see you wise owls next time with a new craft. Goodbye.